What's good? It's your stepfather, Ron Effect, back again with another New York Giants video. How's it going, people? I know it's been like a week and a half since I uploaded a video, and I didn't realize that until like a day or two ago. But here we are. So, if actually, real quick, I should say this now. Leave in the comments anything that you would hope that I talk about. You know what I'm saying? Coming up with video ideas during the offseason is kind of tough, other than training camp. So, yeah, anything that you want me to talk about specifically for the people who are here, the people who comment, let me know, and I'll cater to that. And, you know, also, if you see somebody else comment something that you want me to talk about, just like it. Just like it so it saves us some time. Whatever has the most likes will definitely get a video. So, with that being said, what I want to talk about is that Daniel Jones has weapons now. I see all this stuff on Twitter and, and being at the training camps. Everybody's so excited, you know. Oh, yo, Daniel looking like this. Daniel looking like that. Well, what did you expect? Like, I feel that, well, obviously, with being a giant, I feel people overlook the fact that the progress Danny has had over the past few years was with less, especially last year, bro. I, I feel I feel that people are underrating what the Giants did last year with winning a playoff game, especially on offense when Daniel Jones had less weapons, bro. Injuries, injuries is like a major thing that can lead to the downfall of a team. Usually, oh yeah, we didn't have a successful season. Oh, injuries this, injuries that. Or just a player, something happening to a player. Oh, this player got suspended. Or whatever a team's case may be, it usually comes comes down to or coaching that's another thing too a freaky out a team might have a lot of talent but they can't get their coach right you know the coach just doesn't know how to coach makes poor decisions and then yeah bro or just like no chemistry which is a major reason why we have darren waller which is another person i'm gonna talk about in this video so yeah whatever uh the radius hit who's it now mcdaniels josh mcdaniels Whatever you did, well, I know what you did to piss him off is the wedding thing with him and Kelsey Plum. It's like they didn't want people to know, such and such. So glad that glad you screwed that up. <laughs> that led Darren Waller right to the New York Giants. So thank you, sir. So, yeah, da Daniel Jones now has weapons, bro. We have Paris Campbell now. Freaking Jalen Hyatt got drafted. Everybody's talking about their 40 times and all that. I like speed. I like speed, bro. Don't get don't get me wrong, but it's just something that stuck in my head. I've mentioned before. Michael Irvin once said on one of his TV shows called Fourth and Long, he's like, "Oh yeah, he runs a a four second forty, a, a three point nine forty yard dash. He ran that shit when he was fresh. Can he still run a four second forty in the fourth quarter with full pads?" And so I got maybe they are clocking them in their pads, or whatever. Well, we gonna see. We are gonna see how fast they run this this year because you know Tariq Hill. That's one of his his major attributes is that he's fast. He also has really good hands. So who are the what other top wide receivers are extremely fast? Because not even also about speed, just about getting open and catching the ball, bro. Because there's been players out there who, oh, yeah, he has a fast 40 time. But how often do a lot of fast 40 time wide receivers come out to be something? You know what I'm saying? It's all about catching the ball first. Because, yeah, for last season, you know, I'm not going to name no names. 86 but hopefully he has a better season this year hopefully he breaks out so he said that oh he can see himself as a one all right well we're gonna see i hope everybody who makes the cut excels enough to where it's like oh the giants are stacked the giants receiving core is stacked so yeah i'm rooting for darius lane i'm rooting for everybody who's on the giants as a team it's not like a specific team a specific thing so yeah everybody's no player that like you know i'm shading or whatever but yeah hopefully darius Slayton. don't want to see no drop passes hopefully jalen hyatt freaking you know proves the doubters wrong i'm talking about the media because you know how it goes you won't hear me say it you won't hear me say it so many times you won't hear me say it enough that when you're a new york giant bro the media is skewed opposing team fans they have a way to feel about it unless the player is up for free agency or trade that's when they change their tune who else did i not even mention bro paris campbell jameson crowder jalen hyatt Darius Slayton is back. Who else did I not mention? I brought up Darren Waller, who I think is going to be tight end, who I think is going to be Daniel Jones's main target. His like, you know what I'm saying? It's like every quarterback has their favorite target. And I think him and Darren Waller are going to do a lot of damage, bro. And if by chance he's covered or whatever, it's going to open up something for anybody, somebody else, bro. So yeah, bro. Who else? I don't even want to say because some of these guys are not going to be there for the main depth chart. You know what I'm saying? Some of these guys are going to get cut because there's guys out there. Who is like, oh yeah, they're here trying to make the team. And also, yeah, Cole Beasley, not saying that he might get cut. I feel that he was brought in to test the freaking young guys on defense, like the secondary on defense. You need players like that because when it's rookie on rookie, you don't really get much out of it. But when you got a veteran wide receiver going up against your young guys, it's like, okay, let's see. Maybe he might produce. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be another W if he does produce during the regular season. So we'll see how that goes for Sterling Shepard if he can stay healthy. 
So we'll see how it goes. We'll see how the final roster gets cut down to. But in the end, I just want the Giants to have a really good passing offense. Like, I, I want pe teams not know what they are going to do. You know, people forget that Daniel Jones can run as well. So it's like, oh, the Giants can air it out. If it's not there, he can run. He can toss it to Saquon. Saquon go out there for a pass. So, and also the blocking too, the offensive line is better than what it is before. That plays a factor as well, bro. Because if quarterback ain't got time to pass the ball, then what can you really do? So I'm, I'm going to keep this kind of short. You guys tell me what your predictions of who you think, who do you think is going to be the most productive wide receiver? Who do you think, what do you think the starting wide receiving core going to look like? A lot of people saying, oh yeah, they just stacking up on slot receivers. Bro, like a, like a player can't be moved. Like, you know, speed kills. So we're going to see how it goes. I'm very excited, bro. Um, hopefully everybody stays healthy too. Everybody stays healthy because, you know, players getting that injury bug. Joe Burrow, who else? Was it Jalen Ramsey? Did he get hurt at training camp or did he just have surgery? Something, bro. But I don't know. Preseason is coming as well, bro. The preseason game. Everybody stay safe. So everybody make it to the regular season in one piece. Also be competitive. And yeah, bro. Cheers to a, a freaking good season. I can't wait. I don't know about y'all, but I definitely can't wait. Just get through. Oh, this August is going to go by quick. I promise. But leave comments in the video. Leave comments under the video of what you want me to talk about. And also I'll look into like breaking news or whatever. Well, not even breaking news, but just a topic that I could come up with that we could talk about to help cruise through this August. Oh, also, uh, Outsiders, Giants Outsiders coming back August 9th. Me, Fist Vegas, and Cop Pizzle on Fist Vegas channel. So I'll keep you posted. So yeah, follow us on Twitter and stuff. All right, and Instagram. So thank you guys for watching. Till next time, like, subscribe, and share. Comment, and I'll see you next video. Jersey. I stay ain't even playing the game and you talking like you skip bayless criticize he who made it calling it entertainment difference with you and skip is you ain't the one getting payments